And the first question that we're going to go through comes from Twitter. So you can ask us a question on Twitter on uh, at BPK Guide. And the question comes from at Livewire446. Livewire asks, hi, I'm traveling to New Zealand for three weeks, uh, arriving in Christchurch on the 5th of April at 5.30 p.m. I like your videos. Great. Thanks. Um, I'm a bit confused about buying a SIM card. You recommend two degrees. How do you get it at the airport after 5.30 p.m.? What is the best plan? And also, I have a GPS in my motorhome. Thanks. All right. All right, so let's just get started right out of the gate by saying that no, we do not recommend two degrees. It's one of the options, so we explain that as one of the options, but we don't necessarily recommend two degrees. Um, they are the one that have the poorest network, so the, the least coverage around the country. So if we were to pick a network, um, which obviously we do since we're in New Zealand, uh, we are not going with two degrees, and in almost no case, we are going with um, two degrees. So. We recommend uh, the Spark network, which uh, has uh, brands like Spark or Skinny on it. It's the widest and the fastest uh, in the country. And there's also the Vodafone network, which has the brand Vodafone on it. Um, yeah. and Most people have heard of Vodafone, yeah. it's international. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, now the first thing that uh, I want to answer, a new question, you ask about the best plan. So we'll go over where to find your SIM card in a minute. Uh, but first I want to talk about the best plan since I already started talking about the different brands. So um, for the plans, uh, if you decide to go with Skinny, which is going to be kind of the cheapest one, uh, we recommend you go with a prepaid. And in prepaid, you can have a plan. I know it sounds a little bit crazy to have like, um, you know, like both prepay and a plan, but that's how it works. Basically, you top up your account, which is prepay. So you buy a voucher of twenty dollar. You put twenty dollar on your account, and then with this twenty dollar, you spend sixteen dollars to buy a plan that lasts for one month. It's the most flexible to do it, to the way to go, especially when traveling around, because you get all the advantages of a plan with the flexibility of the prepay. Now, in our opinion, the plan, which is the, the prepay plan, which is around sixteen dollars with Skinny, gives you really good value. Now, same thing uh, with Vodafone. They have uh, a, a system which is called the My Flex Plan, which basically works the same. You top up your account with some prepaid money, and then you can design your own plan. So you have a little slider, and you say, "Okay, I want less minutes, but I want more data, and I want this, and I want that." So it's pretty flexible. But it turned out to have a very similar kind of plan than what the sixty dollar in Skinny is, uh, meaning that you're gonna have unlimited text and about two hundred minutes calling and about one point, uh, a bit more than one gigabyte of data you will be paying about $18. Uh, I think it's 1.25 gigabyte of data. And for Spark, which is uh, you know the, the, another really big company, the same similar plan uh, on prepay will be called uh, Value Pack, and uh, that would be about $19. That's make sure to compare your needs, like how much data you want and all of that. Just don't overestimate how much data you need. Like no one needs like three gigabytes of internet, especially since you mentioned you have a GPS in your phone. So you won't be using the, the, the GPS in your motorhome. You won't be using your GPS at all. So that's going to chunk, uh, you know, shave off a lot of data in here. So keep that in mind when you compare all those plans. So again, uh, Vodafone, Spark, and Skinny are the one that we mostly recommend. Two degrees, just another option, but not the one that we kind of put our name behind it. All right. So now that's to give you like kind of what are the Best plan. We actually do have other videos that actually detains all those things. And obviously, we're going to be linking below into an article which we keep regularly up to date with all the different plans that you have available. It's it's quite crazy the amount of uh, changes that those things go through throughout the year. So yeah, you know, bear with us. Sometimes it's not like the up to date by the by the minute, but. You know, we work on that. Yeah. Um, now you are also asking, so if you arrive a little bit late at night, so at 5.30 p.m. at the Christchurch Airport, where do you buy your SIM card? That's a question actually that we get quite often because everybody wants to hit the ground running and, and get that done really quickly. So Laura, do you want to go through that? Yeah, so certainly at uh, Christchurch Airport, there are some phone stores there, which because 5.30 p.m. is quite a popular time to for flights to arrive in Christchurch, I really doubt that the phone shops will be closed at that time. And also remember that it is an international airport. So 
stores do tend to stay open later than you know if you're in a city or a town so there is there's definitely a spark shop in the Christchurch airport and there's possibly a Vodafone one as well you might just want to double check that um, but if you know if you for whatever reason you don't have the right phone network available like the right phone network shop available in Christchurch that you want to choose probably the next best thing is to go to this um this big department store chain in New Zealand called the warehouse and this store is usually open till about 8 p.m. and they have an entertainment section which has SIM cards for all the phone networks in New Zealand. Um, so that's the next best place to go and actually have all the choice of all the different phone networks. So um, in Christchurch, probably the closest warehouse stores to the Christchurch airport. There's one in the Northlands area, there's one in Hornby, and there's one in Belfast. So obviously when you are sort of planning where you're gonna be going after you pick up your motorhome, just see which one of those warehouse stores is on your route for when you're leaving Christchurch. And you know, the warehouse is also a really good place to pick up some other essentials that you might need for your trip because it is like a big department store known for being one of the cheaper department stores. So it's always worth popping in if you do want to get some essentials before hitting the road. Um, do you have anything else to add to that? Or? Um, no, I think that, um, I, I think that the, the, the thing that a lot of people worry about when they choose their SIM card is, am I going to get enough data? And, and I just want to stress that enough. I know I already stress this once, but <laughs> really you do not need as much data as you think you need. And uh, a lot of people end up spending way too much money for that. You know, remember you're going to get uh, Wi-Fi, which is internet again in every almost every hostel you're going to go into. Yeah. And also you're going to be traveling around New Zealand, so the, it's not necessarily going to be like something you really badly um, need all the time. Yeah. Uh, mind you, I mean it will allow you to access Backpacker Guide on NZ, so you know obviously you <laughs> want <laughs> it, but yeah. But yeah. Anyway, so that's basically uh, that's basically everything about getting your SIM card late at night in crash as well as which one would be the best plan. Um, I hope that this answers your question. Live wire 446. So is, is it, yeah, I got yeah. it right. Yeah, look at that. Live wire 446. But if you do have any follow-up questions um, in the comment below, if you if you guys are watching a replay of this video in the comment below, um, you know this is because you guys are asking a question that we have so much, um, so much. Um, you know answer to all the questions yeah you and if you have any more questions during this live session make yeah. sure you to put them in the live chat and we will get right to it yeah cool. speaking of i think we should get to the live chat yes <laughs>